Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I have a Jelly Cat Halloween themed unboxing today. I am very excited. There is only one that I haven't looked at and it's still sealed in the bag. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to start. Now, I had no restraint. If you've seen my videos before, I have been after Pumpkin Bunny. So Pumpkin Bunny is in here. I went to so many shops looking because I wanted to get one in person. But I just couldn't find him anywhere. So when he came online, I got Pumpkin Bunny. I think right now he's out of stock. I don't know if he's going to come back. If there's like a sign up for a restock, you could pop your email address in there and you'll get an email if he comes back. I have Pumpkin Bunny. Like I said, I wasn't restrained enough to not already check that it was Pumpkin Bunny. Which I'll come on to when, I'm, when I open the one that's actually sealed. When you order from Jelly Cat Direct, you do get the kind of little little jelly cat dust bags which are very lovely they come in different sizes obviously depending which size jelly cat you get right technical name let's have a look i am bashful pumpkin bunny please look after me and look i only have one other bunny at the moment and it's the navy gray one with the stars in his ears but i just couldn't resist this little one i can't like he's not a fully black color there's almost like a tinge of very dark blue to him look he's holding a little pumpkin so i call him pumpkin bunny i feel like that's it's technically his name it's fine that's his name pumpkin bun bun and he's so sweet he is the small size but he's just adorable what a way to start halloween than with a pumpkin bunny and i finally have one so like i said i didn't want it i did want to get one in person but it's adorable what i'm probably going to do is for halloween move a shelf of lounge fly out and have a halloween jelly cat shelf probably on this side they're a bit easier to move the princesses are all, they're all organized now this side is a lot easier to move about i'm gonna have a proper pumpkin shelf complete with pumpkin bunny who do i show next shall i do the i'm gonna do all the pumpkins i've got three different sorts of pumpkin ones another from the jelly cat website it's a pumpkin well technical name i am ookie jack-o-lantern so i like spooky but ookie jack-o-lantern so he's been made with a little face but he's like a happy scary face he's not scary at all is he? he's got a happy face and they are so ridiculously soft it's unreal he's a little stubby bit there adorable compared to pumpkin bunny size wise they can sit next to each other the next pumpkin is a heck of a lot bigger actually because they can fit in one hand i couldn't resist him when i saw him oh you've just seen it's pumpkin bartholomew bear now i have the very small version of bartholomew bear and now i have a pumpkin version so let me I need like four hands to be doing this with don't i put those two very nicely down there okay technical name on the tag i am pumpkin bartholomew bear so all the authentic jelly cats will have the jelly cat tag on them and then these separate tags that tell you their kind of technical name. You can call them whatever you want though. But it's a pumpkin Bartholomew bear and I've seen, actually thinking about it, I know I'm digressing onto Christmas already, there's a Bartholomew bear and he's got like a Christmas almost dressing gown on in red. I think I'm going to get him as well. I'm just going to start buying all the bears in their different outfits but look he is adorable he's got a little pumpkin hat on right there this is stitched on as well there's four stitches one at the front one at the back and then one either side so you could um, you could probably cut through the stitch if you really wanted to but you can't take the hat off like it comes i'm holding it by his head it comes like that however this pumpkin has velcro down there and I did really quickly run my finger around his arm and all the legs. Is there a stitch there? No. And there's no stitches that I have felt if you just kind of run your finger around here. So I think this pumpkin can come off, but the hat is stitched on. Is that just so you... I mean, you can tell by the tag who it is. But I don't think I want to take the pumpkin off because he's just as cuddly with the pumpkin and he's ready for Halloween. But he's adorable look at him so he is a bit bigger and he's obviously got his little 
pumpkin padding on. But it's ready for Halloween. I feel like I kind of want to do a Halloween shelf now. Look at him waving down there. So I might just get that. I mean, we're in September now, so Halloween is next month. Woohoo! It's close, isn't it? I'm not a fan of horror. I am a complete and utter wimp. But anything cutesy Halloween, I'm all for it. Next, okay, shall I do... This is not Halloween themed at all, so I might do this one now. And I'm a little bit scared. Okay. Onyx Dragon. The medi medium or large? The medium or large, I'll have to check. Onyx Dragon, who I thought was retired and sold out everywhere, suddenly showed up on the Jelly Cat website. I added him to my basket and purchased as quick as I possibly could. Then, as soon as I had done that and went back to it, because I was going to send him to my friend to say, get one, he was shown and sold out. So in my head, I was thinking, it must have been a glitch. I'm going to get a cancellation email. I had a shipping email. So in here is, hopefully, Onyx Dragon, who is a black dragon, so kind of Halloween-themed-ish. Not really. The reason I'm slightly concerned is... I've joined a few Facebook groups for jelly cats and I saw a couple of weeks ago somebody had ordered the three little macar don't wave scissors that's not safe had ordered one of the pink macaroons and they had a green so I'm slightly worried oh it's stuck that I may have a dragon but is it onyx dragon I'm a little bit scared we're going to find out together. He's in a bag. Okay. Packing slip. Yeet that down there. This is a different bag. Ooh. Right. Well, that looks empty. So. This is a very different bag to these ones. This is like soft. I wouldn't say cotton, but it's like a really soft material. This is almost like a swimming bag that you would put like swim stuff in. That it wouldn't mind if it got a bit wet. I think we are a dragon because I can see something there but I can't see the colour and I've suddenly gone this I'm sticking to everything I've suddenly gone incredibly nervous because what if it is onyx dragon I've got one if it's not then I don't have one is he actually retired now as well it's onyx dragon I have an onyx dragon how many dragons do I have now you can never have enough I do plan on getting one of each colour. Size-wise, it makes no difference to me. He fits for Halloween. Oh no, his wings are all taped off. Well, we'll get that right off, won't we? Set the wings free. Yeet that away. Look. Okay, is it medium or large? I am Onyx Dragon. So I'm going to say medium then, because I'm sure there are giant dragons. So he's probably medium. But look. Oh my goodness. See, he's not actually for Halloween. But he works for Halloween because of his colouring, doesn't he? And he's got shimmery wings. And he can just sit here. And we're ready for Halloween. I might try and... There we go. I want to get his wings out so we can fly. I can't quite believe that he's actually here. I feel a little bit... I am spending so much time on him when this is supposed to be a Halloween unboxing. But Onyx Dragon. <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless in the best possible way. He's so ridiculously soft. Like, everyone say hi to Onyx. I might call him Drogon, though. Any Game of Thrones fans, I think that's why I'm loving the dragons. Because Daenerys Targaryen. Targaryen's my favourite house anyway. Daenerys Targaryen, then Rhaenyra are my favourite characters. So... Dragons. He might be called Drogon. I'm going to need one each of the dragons. Is there a red dragon for Corexia? Maybe. Don't know. I have three left. We'll do a bigger one again. <laughs> Look at this one. Technical name first, really quick. I am Wilf Wolf. Oh my goodness. Look how fluffy. And I can confirm... He's incredibly soft. Sometimes when you see plushies like this, they're not always that soft. He is. He is as soft as soft can be. And he has little fangs just here. His little wolf fangs. Yeah. 
and it's just squishy. There was also, is it a Bigfoot who looks very much like this, but he's more of like a cream colour? I think he's a Bigfoot. Not 100% sure. But Wolf, 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 tongue twister, say it fast. Wolf, 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 there we go, Wolf, Wolf. And his little ears up top there as well so ridiculously soft they're adorable now there were quite a few for halloween i don't have all of them i have two more and they are only tiny ones we're a little ghost this one is called i am ookie ghost like spooky so to kind of match ookie jack-o-lantern oh yeah size wise if i hold up <gasps> wolf wolf tiny little ghost but he just looks so happy. He's like a happy, nice ghost. For me, this is the sort of Halloween stuff that I like. When it's all nice and cute. And smiley and happy faces. I'm just not good with horror. Each to their own. Give me the cutest stuff every day. Just adorable. Beautiful little ghost. Now the last one is... Grab the technical name first. Just in case you want to know. I am Ookie Bat. Like Spooky Bat. I couldn't at first decide between this one and the skeleton bat. There's also the skeleton dog, which I don't have. This is the last one for this video. I'm this close to getting the skeleton dog just because adorable and again, really soft. But look, this tiny little bat and he was just sat there by himself and he was like, please take me home. I need a home. Look at his little feet. So he's got a lovely little home with a pumpkin and a ghost. Adorable. And again, incredibly soft. So these ones, actually, hmm, how should I display them? I, excuse. I need more hands for this, don't I? I? Need like six hands to hold them. So these ones could display together. Do you know what I could do? I have, I know that you can't see this, up top on the very top, I have three Halloween themed lounge fly. I could move those there temporarily and put those ones up there. I know you can't really see this right now. Ooh. These ones can sit kind of like I do with some of the aerial stuff. One, two, three, four spaces. Four tiny jelly cats. Oh, I'm not holding them properly, am I? You get the idea. I think. I've probably explained that so badly, haven't I? But. Even though he's not Halloween, my favourite is Onyx Dragon because I finally have him. Also, soon, very soon, I'm doing a Halloween vlog, but I'm going to start to talk about Christmas now. The Christmas catalogue. There's a few I've seen in there. So Bartholomew Bear with, I'm sure he's got like a red style dressing gown sort of thing on there. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Arctic foxes are my favourite animal i love foxes but arctic foxes in particular there's an arctic fox coming so i need to get it oh, i need to get it um and there, there's a gingerbread house i might wait to see that in person to see how i feel but i'm just hugging, hugging dragon we're gonna call him dragon there is also a gingerbread christmas tree cookie with the feet and a gingerbread christmas star cookie with the feet so Arctic Fox and those two gingerbread ones, they're a must. There's a reindeer as well. I clocked something in my head, there's a reindeer that I want. And there's a hot chocolate, but I think that's from last year's. And I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, back to Halloween. Let me know in the comments. Did anybody else manage to get an Onyx Dragon? Was I just incredibly lucky? I mean, I am lucky that I have one. And that he then went out of stock. But did anybody else get one? Let me know. And what's your favourite from today? Actually... Even if you don't have one of these, but other Halloween ones, what's your favourite? Shall I get the skeleton dog? Yes. Internal voice, yes. You know you're going to do it anyway. Why are you asking? Because if someone else says yes, I'll be like, well, they, they told me to do it, so it won't be completely my fault. That's my logic anyway. But yes, happy Halloween, everyone. It's not Halloween yet, it's still September, but we can get in the spooky, boo sort of mood, can't we? But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.